What's happening, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video today. So as you can see, I got some new equipment. My sister got me a mic, so hopefully the sound quality will be a little bit better when I do these videos outside. And you know, it's amazing when you get something new and then inspire you to want to create new content and just give it y'all and pray that it bless the people, you know, because at the end of the day, I just want to do something that is positive, something that's going to exalt the name of the Heavenly Father and help the people that might be going through difficult times, man. That's what I strive to do. And it's a blessing. And sometimes, you know, to stay motivated, you got to reward yourself at times. In this case, my sister got me a mic and it's just something that Make me feel good, man. I, I don't know. Like, I'm just, I'm just grateful for the gift. You know what I'm saying? You got to be grateful. That's the key to life. You got to be grateful for what the Heavenly Father allows you to have. With that being said, I do want to speak on something, though. Although we like creating content, we also like watching content. And there's a lot of stuff out there that might seem harmless at first glance. But over the course of time, it could be changing you into something you're not. So we got to learn how to filter out the content we watch because the enemy know how to make it look good and sound good, but is it really good? Psalms 144 verse eight, the words say, whose mouth speak vainly and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I have watched content, right? Where people be speaking highly of the heavenly father that they're grateful for the things he have done in their life and all types of stuff. Then the next sentence be filled with curse words and foul language. And then they proceed to do all the things that the Heavenly Father don't approve of. See, one of the things that I learned about the enemy is this. He will allow you to continue to elevate as long as you don't get in his way. So you could do everything there is to do in this world. But if you get in his way by doing the right thing, that's when he's going to slow your motion down. That's when he's going to try to counsel you. That's when he's going to try to wipe you out the picture. Because doing the right thing is what disturbs the kingdom of darkness. See, we fighting against principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places. So how the enemy deceived people is he allowed them to speak highly about the Heavenly Father. But then once they speak highly about the Heavenly Father, they began to do all sorts of wickedness that goes against the Heavenly Father. People are being baited into that lifestyle because the enemy is allowing it to go up. They're getting the views. They're keeping those high profile people around them, so to speak. That's how the enemy tricked people. And he blinds the people, causing a deep delusion to be over their life because the lights, camera, and action. The camera always rolling. Have you ever been driving and somebody is coming towards your way with high beams on and they blind you momentarily? You can't see nothing? That's how the enemy is deceiving people. He's keeping those lights so bright they can't see what's going on in the background. But yet you got these people saying, yeah, I'm grateful that the Heavenly Father is doing this for my life. The Heavenly Father ain't doing that. You're going against the word of God based upon your actions because you got motion. So we got to be careful with the content we watch, y'all. Because it's a lot of falsehood that's going on. It's a lot of people that's saying they love God, but are far from him. You could tell by the fruit. See, it was a lot of trees to eat from in the Garden of Eden. It was a lot of trees to eat from. And you got to understand, even the forbidden tree looked good enough to eat from. 
but was it good for their soul? We can't have one foot in and one foot out. See, one thing that's starting to get me a little bit is this. It only took one little serpent to speak lies that led to a lifetime of chaos. It only take one foot. One step could either change your life for the better or change your life for the worse. It was only one little serpent speaking lies and led to a lifetime of trouble. And he spoke the word of God. But then he turned around and said, you won't, you won't surely die. See, that's what's going on in the content we watch today. They'll speak highly about the heavenly father, but then turn around and do things that's going to lead you to hell. That's going to lead you to a dark place. That's going to lead to depression over the course of time, especially if you continue to participate in that activity. So it's a lot of deceitfulness going on and it's a lot of deception that's cast upon the world based upon social media and the music we listen to. If you notice, a lot of people cast their beliefs away, their faith away whenever they get bored. Because the world has painted this picture of a certain definition of what fun looks like. See, fun to the world is going out to the club, drinking until your heart's content, fornicating, creating content that appeals to the world, getting a bunch of views, likes, comments, shares. That's the definition of fun that the enemy has painted over the world. So basically, we as believers got to redefine the meaning of fun to our life. We got to redefine it. Back then, you used to could come outside and enjoy that. But now it's like, what is fun? So that's why at the beginning of this video, I said the key to having tremendous joy in your life is literally learning how to be grateful. When God sees that you're grateful, I promise you, that's the beginning process of redefining what fun is. The reason why people cast away their faith most of the time when they get bored is because they constantly want more and more and more out of life. And that's the dark place that the enemy wants you to be in because he wants to replace your contentment with greed. He wants you to chase after the stuff of this world instead of being grateful for what the Heavenly Father can provide. See, the Heavenly Father gave us all that we need through Lord Jesus when he laid his life down on that cross. And that's just the honest truth about it. So we got to learn how to appreciate the magnitude of what Lord Jesus did. It's a lot of people that don't even understand if Lord Jesus didn't do what he did. And when he was on the cross, if he didn't ask the father to forgive them, they wouldn't even be able to do what they love. So at least we can do is return the favor by the type of content we make. We can at least exalt the name of the Heavenly Father with the platforms that he blesses with, with the stuff that we, can, we should be doing. Hey, how you doing? With the stuff we should be doing in life. We can at least exalt his name with what we do on an everyday basis. That's how we show our appreciation. It's the Heavenly Father that gave us the opportunity to be able to have a platform. So we got to stop leading people into a place that's going to cause them to self-destruct and start leading people to life. And that's Lord Jesus. And at the end of the day, 
the enemy has already cast a spell over the world. But when you come to the Heavenly Father by accepting Lord Jesus Christ into your heart, it's the light of Lord Jesus that reveals the truth. So now that we know the truth, all of us, including myself, got to be careful with what we watch. We got to filter out the content that can lead us away from the Heavenly Father. There are certain things we're not supposed to be watching. There are certain things we're not supposed to listen to. Because what the world say, bad company corrupts good character. The stuff we keep around can literally change our personality and our character of how we conduct ourselves. So just be careful. I pray this bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.